So in our last video, I had Dwarf Therapist running. Um, I'm just bringing this up again because there's a couple of things I want to change. Uh, after thinking about it, I'm going to have this wood burner here do a bit of wood chopping. And I'm going to have the furnace operator I selected do some wood chopping as well. And this is simply because um, uh, <clears throat> they're not going to have a furnace to uh, smelt wood in for a while. If there's no charcoal or wood to burn. So that'll take care of that. Uh, probably what else I'll also do. I'll um, also go to the guy at my, for, for, you know, tools making and all that. And I'm going to give him letter working as well. Because I don't have a, someone doing that. Finally, um, my last change will be that I'm going to uh, think about making all these fish workers that I have. When it, st when it starts to uh, get um, cold again, or if it's still cold, I'll have them do stone detailing and start smoothing out the fortifications. Now, thinking a little bit about the fortifications, actually, I'm going to do this right away because I need to store wood. Something I need to be concerned about is what happens if, like, you know, I have to close this bridge up. So, I've got, like, you know, a whole lot of uh, stone to be smoothed going all the way down this, like, you know, channel. And it goes, like, this far, and it'll go this far. But let's just, you know, say I want to do something out here. Um, what I'm thinking about is I'll make like a little um, box just over here so my archers can shoot from it. And I'll just have to build a wall on top of that with a floor and all that. Um, is the refuse pile getting filled up? A little bit. I'll have to start moving bones inside. Uh, what we'll do with the bones is um, I will make a second pile to take those bones. That's wood, that's the uh, other stuff. And I'll let them start going at it. Uh, actually, I should do this chopping on trees because. They don't have um, any trees that need to be chopped yet. Boy, these trees go up a while. Yep, the only one's there. But I don't need to be chopping trees up this high. So. Um, we will chop all the trees in this general direction. I do that just because uh, if um, trees have to come from that side of the map, they've got all that area to go. Um, and the second thing I need to do, I need to uh, worry about access to uh, cut wood with. So he's constructing beds, so I'm going to change them to, to a few axes, and that these can be used for chopping wood. There's the carpenter's workshop. Everyone's gotta be doing something. So jeweler's shops are inactive because they don't have jewelry yet. That can wait though. Um we're gonna get them doing a bunch of stuff called blocks for a little bit. Because I need it for walls that I'll make my little um, mini fortresses out of. And we'll get them doing all that for now, and then later we'll do other stuff. Claim the floodgate. Hauling a few animals.
Where are my miners all around? Looks like they're all heading down. Something else I have to worry about is bedrooms in the space soon, so... I'll have to worry about getting some dorm more dormitories up somewhere in the fortress. At least now I've got a ton of miners. Six to be precise. Who's not doing work? We got one of Myers doing not doing work. He's the uh, Tanner. Yeah, he's the Tanner. So he's fine not doing the work. Um, that's why I said him to be the brewer is not doing work. That's not good. I need him brewing. Drink, repeat. The book could be nice to have a room made. Butcher, planter. Ah, there's sort of jobs out. Um, this has been built, built, built. So let's start adding tasks to link it up. F. F What is this here? This is a chalk floodgate. I don't know why that one's so orange. Maybe it's blocking something. It's a very slow process because these guys are all pretty new at mining at this point. I think the only good miners I have going are um, these these guys and they're sleeping. <laughs> Something else I want to do, I want to set the stone block pile. Block. And this will go right here. In this block pile, I'm just going to put other, other blocks. It's all going to be other blocks. Giant wrens, apparently, they were being hunted. I should also do this. I've actually picked up a bunch of uh, yak cats, and it looks like one of them is a, is a female, so I finally have some counterparts to these guys. Um, what else have I got? The mule fowl, I'll probably let that grow and then slaughter it. Donkey fowl, um, it's a female. I might keep the donkeys, it depends if I get male or not. A lot of this stuff I'll keep. I might be able to get something that can be made, um, you know, start producing offspring. But we'll see. There's a nanny goat. Got plenty of different animals. It's got no um, species except for that yak one. And I'm not sure I want to have yak on this uh, this you know map because of all the lack of grass. I'm gonna have to start thinking about where to put those animals soon. They're slowly doing that. 
I'll be done later. Probably something else I should do. Down here I have um, corpses and coffins. I'm, I'll put uh, a storage here for um, I don't think it's finished goods, but I'll basically put storage down here for coffins. So we'll block all except for coffins. And we'll disable. And I'm just going to go up here and disable coffins. So all coffins will be built down there instead. And I can easily place them quickly. Okay, they're going blocks fairly nicely. I think what I'll do is I'll let it fill up completely up there. Now, did that carpenter actually do his work? Or yep, he did work. Bed, bed's made. Got that axe done. I'm going to do beds again. I just have to make a bunch of wooden crossbows. A bunch of wooden bolts. Um, down here, I'm going to make the workshop or the letter works. And uh, I'll also do stuff for over here as well. Uh, like a loom and weaver shop and all that. Let's see here, I've got to build, uh, I, have, I don't really usually get this far in the game because I usually just stick to adventure promotes a loom, clover shop, uh, those are two things I need in here, loom for spinning the cloth, cloth for a shop for making the clothes, um, that might be it though, but whatever, we'll see. Now we'll build a second letter shop right here. How am I doing? I've got low drinks on lots of plant. Am I still brewing? Probably not. He's making rock pots, so I should have the silver drinks, so I wonder what's happening. That's slowly getting filled up. Elven Caravan. Excellent. Uh, Mike shut off there. I'll have to. Um, so the Elven Caravan has come. Uh, stone piles, you know, getting built up, so we'll kill those guys from making stone. And we'll start giving a task of building my walls and such. So, something I actually might do is, um, I'm going to build a floor that pretty much covers all this area so flyers can't get in. Uh, 
Well, maybe we'll make it a bit higher than this. Like right at the top level. And we'll just go to B, C, floor. with all these blocks. I don't have, actually have a lot of blocks. Hmm. Because I'll have to get someone to constantly keep making. So that's those blocks. Uh, we'll put the oval on blocks later. I don't care what color the floor is. Blocks, oval and blocks. So we're actually going to go down to the Mason's workshop and tell them to make blocks on repeat still. So one guy will keep doing that. Chuck Morganite. Hmm, I might as well. Maybe I've got something I can trade with them. Like drinks. Uh seeds, drinks, anvils, no. I'll trade them some crafts. Don't have any of them. But I got enough. I don't have a lot of pots for some reason. We'll move all those and we'll tell the creator to get to the depot. Hey, you know what? Cement construction to the floor. I suspend the construction of the floor. Cobalt thief. Woo! He's right next to the blade. Mason. Again? Where is he this time? Right there. I've really had some issues with cobalt thieves before. I've seen them. Uh, what they do is they'll stab my guy and run away. Uh, they're constructing the construction of floor constantly. Don't know why. Okay, whatever. He's drinking. Alright, this is done, so let's do this. Wood, you'll go here. Wood, you'll go here. This is where my wood stockpile will be. Not over here. So, we want to get rid of this wood stockpile. And it's now summer.
Excellent. Did they do down here yet? Yes, they did. So we will go move refuse here. And we will change this refuse to only include um, this stuff. And we'll get, you know, this stuff inside. Now my miners are probably well, they're giving wire, which is fine. But it's time for him to start mining some more. Uh, now that I have wood and all that done, um, we'll start worrying about the hospitals and all that. Space for dwarves. Now, I don't like to have stuff, you know, too close to the surface. Where all the fighting will be, so. Um, but this stuff is, like, really far away. I mean, at worst, I mean, that'd be like they cut off for where I'd be doing it. So up here is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I go nine just because that's just above here. So this will be the hospital area, I think. And we'll just designate this. I'm not going to do it right away. Well, I'm more concerned about uh, dormant stories at this point. So let's put that there in mind myself. Down here, we'll put uh, dormitories. And we're just going to start with the basic, basic dormitory of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very basic. I will go make it bigger. And I'll, you know, 6 by 6, 36 beds should be enough for now. And I'll do it quickly so I can get it done. This is what, 3, 6, 10? Let's actually get a few more coffins just in case. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now slowly cut all those trees down and bring out the wood in. Build these, I hope. They're, they're eating up that grass quickly enough. I should really butcher some of those guys soon. But don't need to butcher them now. Now I'm actually going to do a few other things on this level as well. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll up here we'll have maybe and what these will be are like the bookkeeper, chief medical dwarf. They'll have like their little um office spaces here. Hmm. I actually have more moles than that, don't I? Got like, you know, managers eventually. Yeah, we'll have a little whole bunch of guys here. Manager as well. <clears throat> and right here in our office. Hmm. Let's actually just make a little hall right there. So I can build stuff behind it.
Now I'll give like little spaces for like bookkeeper, manager, chief medical clerk, someone else. They'll really only the mayor that'll eventually get the sheriff and um or captain of the guard and uh bookkeeper and manager need to, those and the mayor wants a really big big ass room. Um Whatever, I'll figure it out. What? Well, I didn't lose a calf, so what's happening? And they're probably fighting with each other over there for some reason. Yeah, they're just being stupid. I mean, that's a huge fucking area. If they're battling each other in a stupid, stupidly large area, is a problem with them. Now the merchant is here, so let's trade. Um, I want drinks. Yeah, I want drinks. Because drinks are important. So. Let's look at their drinks. They got a bunch of barrels. Ooh, they got some nice barrels. But that's a little expensive. Strawberry wine, on beer. Please have more than just those two. Wow, these guys, these persons just don't like beer, drink beer in this version. Well, since they're here, um. Let's be on your bag. There's cloth. I could possibly buy some cloth. Just, you know, some for crafts. Clothing. Mostly clothing. Um, we'll go. I'm not sure if I can do any drink, but these can. I'll we'll get all that. Fishberry. That's enough. And we'll see if we'll take that. Thank you for doing business. They're happy. Don't need to trade her. And there, I made a little bit of goods from the elves that they're happy about. Are masons actually getting to work up here? They are. Sully. Probably won't be doing this much longer because it'll be annoying. And I might forget to turn back on the mic when it turns off. So blocks, we got some more blocks. I hope not yet. Apparently, but these guys are slowly building up. That's been done. So add new task. Pull a lever. And we'll pull this lever. Why is this one so red? 
Mighty Chalk 4, maybe? There it goes. Round two of the flooding. Oh god, that's the wrong time to be doing this. Um, we'll say that's enough for now. I don't want to accidentally flood too much in here. I claim the craft door shop. Perfect. And this is all flooding out nicely. Yep, too much water again. Well, well. Uh, we'll just set up some new plots. New plots for new farms. Uh, we'll space it out a bit more than that. Because I like to have my little path that goes right there. For our next batch. One, two, three, four. We'll build a couple doors here. Wonder how long that water will stay. And then we will build little passages right there. All right, what do you want? He needs bones. He needs gems shining. Oh boy, he needs a cut gem. Um, well that's easily fixed. Someone needs to make a jewel. So, let's go in here. Three dwarves. Uh, who's not doing anything? The mechanic probably isn't doing anything, so we'll make him do a bit of gem cutting. And he'll make those for us. Mechanic. He's construction the traction bench. Good. I need one of those eventually. And now he's constructing buildings. I should follow this guy. There he goes. Building slowly. Okay, now we want to cut some gems. We will cut some. Let's cut something like let's cut the shell opal. Constructing our building. There he goes. We should soon see the other guy come down here and say, Hi, I want that gem. There he goes. Okay, I don't need to have him cutting more gems. We go back here, it should say he's constructing his construction. So that's a panel. Don't need to worry about him. And I guess we're done here, so let's start worrying about doors and such. I don't have a lot of doors. So that has to be refactified. But first we'll do that. Beds. Then we'll build some beds. One. Perfect. Bed. 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 And... How many beds have I got? These bed. I only have four beds. Um, well that's fine. Uh, actually I need to build tables too. Um, this will be the bookkeeper. This will be the manager when I get one. And this will be the chief magical dwarf. And We'll leave it like that for now. I'll 
I'll tell my masons to make more doors, and tables, and chairs, and everything else. So let's see here, you know, I made like a bunch of tables. I need to make doors. What are we doing up here? We've already cleared all this out, so. Build door. We don't need that water flooding. Well, we'll leave that on for now. And what I'll do is I'll send the miner to mine out this little section next. And then hopefully I'll flood these rooms. Ooh, a bit of water got uh, let out there. <clears throat> he made a giant red bone short sword. Interesting. I wonder if that can be used for hitting stuff. So let's look at it. This is a giant red bone short sword. All craft warship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of giant red bone. On the item is an image of... Uh, Ornol oh, no, Snarl Clasp, the dwarf and dwarves in the shell opal. Ornol oh, no, Snarl, Snarl Clasp is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork, artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf Ornol oh, no, Snarl Clasp to the position of king of the momentous pillion 40. I don't these have any wood. Wood. They should be getting wood. Oh, well, someone will get, bring the wood in eventually, I think. If I want to chop down the entire forest. We have to set orders. They should be doing that, so don't know what's happening with them. That's slowly getting built up. Mason see me working awfully slowly, for whatever reason. How's this doing? Nah, I might need a bit more. Uh, let's pull this lever. Uh, let's pull this lever. Just to flood a bit more. Let's flood a bit more. That should be enough. So add task, pull lever. <clears throat> I don't have a door over here, do I? No, it's a door. How about this? This is... I guess you don't have to forbid anything to just work fine anyways. But it's slowly going to fill up those rooms. Alright, um, don't have to worry about that anymore. So, I've got my, uh, things getting set up here. Dormitory's been set up. Um, what next? We'll pause it, actually. I think what we'll do is first is we'll set the bookkeeper. He will be here. Sign the table to the bookkeeper. Sign the chair to the bookkeeper. We'll sign the bed to the bookkeeper. Looks like he's got a um, wife or husband or whatever, depending on his race or sex. Over here we'll make the this one for the expedition leader. Because he's a 12th chief medical dwarf. Explanation leader has. He's got no wife. Okay, so that's that. Um, 
We'll start thinking about the hospital. Let's see. I actually want to go to zones. How big can I make zones? Zones can only be about that big. So, um, let's not make it too big then. We could like, you know, a decent size, but not too big. That'll be my borderline hospital. Won't it be any bigger than that. Uh, we'll make a nice big column. We'll line them in. I think I actually smacked that right on perfectly. Okay, so we will make a bunch of rooms in here. This is just where doors will have sur surgery inflicted upon them. Door and surgery. Hmm. Maybe just a bit bigger. Just a bit. Oops. And then we'll have this disconnector right here. Um well, let's make it reverse. And then we will What was I doing again? There. And let's see here. Continue doing it like that. There we go. First set of rooms in the hospital. Um basically keep doing this like that that's too small and we get just a little bit deeper I'm sure this is very boring to watch, but I won't be doing this for too much longer, I don't think. So, okay, there's the first set of hospitals. That's like 16 rooms for uh, the patients. Over here, we'll have like a big, you know, nice storage pile. And that'll be the hospital. Hopefully, you know, a bunch of doors will get that in here, but. At least sets it up. Okay, I got these all made, so clover shop. We'll put that here. Chalk, because they're made everything else out of chalk. Loom. I don't think I need anything else for the clothing industry, but I haven't really set up, um, successfully set up one. Do we really matter? I just threw a bunch of workshops together and then. Eventually, I was able to build everything I need. Uh, that'll be the last time, I think, I turn on the mic. Um, so he's got his thing. It will set you to be at your highest precision. And that will be that for that. I build doors, not yet.
Cape just seems like a good stopping point, so let's stop here.